Hello, everybody, and happy Saturday. If your Lightroom is running at an absolute turtle's pace, it's just crawling along, you have come to the right place. Uh, like you, I have at one point in time had a very, very slow Lightroom catalog, and I'll tell you what, it drives me crazy. So I wanna help you guys with a few tips that I used in order to make my Lightroom run a little bit faster. So I don't claim to be a huge expert in this area, but I just wanna share with you guys exactly what I did to speed up my catalog to make it faster and what worked for me. Uh, and I don't have a super new computer. Right here, I think I'm using a 2016 uh, iMac, and I also use a 2019 MacBook Pro. So I don't have anything that's crazy new, top of the line 2021 anything like that so I'm using pretty average equipment and I have found ways to make my Lightroom catalog run pretty fast so I'm going to jump in I'm going to show you guys a few tips in Lightroom that are obviously free to do just a few settings to change and then if those are still not working for you I talk about two options near the end of this video where you can spend a little bit of money to increase some gear that you have in order to make Lightroom run faster so let's not take any more time let's go ahead and jump right in there I'm super excited here we go guys so the first tip that you can use to speed up Lightroom is just by doing the obvious, and that is clearing out your catalog. You can see here my catalog has slightly over 5,000 photos, uh, and I do go through and delete the ones that I don't want. You can see I've got over 1,000 that are unsorted just from recent trips, but I'll go back through, delete the photos that I don't want to help my catalog be a little bit smaller because a smaller catalog is always going to work faster. If you're pushing 25, 30,000 photos in a catalog, it's likely that unless you've got a pretty beefy computer that it is going to be running slow. So that is one obvious way to get rid of photos. And when you do that, you need to make sure that you get rid of them up here in the catalog rather than in the collections. Because if you delete them out of collections, it just removes them out of the particular collection. Whereas if you actually go up to the catalog and delete a photo, you can delete it from the disk, which is exactly what you want to do. All I did was hit the delete key to do that. So go through, delete images that you don't like, that you don't want to help reduce the size of your catalog. And that is slowly but surely going to speed up your Lightroom. Now, my next tip is to actually go up into the uh, preferences here, and we're going to go down to performance, and there's a couple things that we want to do in performance. The first thing is you want to increase this camera raw cache settings. Uh, I believe by default it starts at one gigabyte. I have mine increased to 10. This basically just increases the size of the cache. Um, long story short, this may or may not help you, but it is worth increasing the size because there's no downside to doing it other than that it is a little bit larger for storage but it's likely that you're probably using a 500 gigabyte or one terabyte two terabyte four terabyte drive so go ahead and do this increase it to 10 that's what i like to do and now you also want to go down to develop and check use smart previews instead of originals for image editing now we're going to get to this in just a second but go ahead and check this box right now while we're here so now to use these smart previews what you need to do when you import a photo um, and I'll show you here. I'm going to click import and let's just go down here. So I have some photos. So when you're importing photos, you want to build smart previews. You can see over here in file handling that you have this checkbox for build smart previews. This basically just builds a smaller version of um, these photos that you can then use to edit. You also want to build standard previews as well. This is gonna help you edit them quicker. Don't bother building a one-to-one -one preview. Um, this is just too large for what you need unless you're doing a lot of zooming in and out. Um, but I do like building standard previews as well as building smart previews. And this is gonna mean that your import time is gonna be a little bit longer because after all the photos are imported, those smart and standard previews are gonna be built. But it is worth it because you can just go ahead and import. Then you can leave your computer for an hour or however long it's gonna to take to import. And then you can come back and everything will be all set for you. So the last thing that you can do here in Lightroom to help increase the speed is to go over to file and go down to optimize catalog. Um, you can hit optimize. You can see that I've already done it very recently, so I'm not going to do it again. But when you hit optimize, Lightroom is just going to basically clean up uh, the dust and it's going to make it a little bit faster. I'm not going to get into the nuts and bolts of how this works because it's really not important, but there's no reason why you wouldn't want to optimize your catalog. So give this a go and see if it's faster. So if you've tried all of these tips on your Lightroom catalog on the computer and your Lightroom is still just turtle speed slow, I'm going to give you guys a couple more tips here that you can use to help speed things up. And the first thing and one of the biggest things that's super important in order to have a fast Lightroom is that you are using a solid state drive, otherwise known as an SSD. Um, this is where I put all my photos as well as my Lightroom catalog. So my catalog is constantly looking into that SSD at the photos. An SSD is a lot faster than some 
some of the older types of hard drives because they take a lot longer to source through and catalog the photos. So ultimately it's gonna be slower. I'm not gonna get into the clunky weeds of exactly how hard drives work, but just know that you need to be using an SSD hard drive. So definitely check to make sure that you are using one. The last thing really that you can do to help speed things up is to add more memory to your computer. Depending on how old or new your computer is, memory can vary from anywhere between 30 to $50 for two gigabytes, all the way up to a few hundred or a few thousand dollars to just increase the memory by just a few gigabytes. This is gonna allow the computer to work on more things at once, as well as to work a little bit faster. Now, when I upgraded the memory on my computer, I didn't see as big of a jump as I did as when I switched to a solid state drive, but it will definitely help a little bit to add some memory to your computer. A lot of computers, you can install them yourself. Other times you need to bring it in and have someone install it for you. So that is also an option for you to try to speed up your Lightroom catalog. If none of these other options have worked, that is definitely the most expensive option, um, but if you are really set on making sure that it runs a little bit quicker, definitely consider doing this to your computer. Just like that, we have hopefully upgraded your Lightroom into a brand new supercar, super speed. Everything is incredibly fast. Now, of course, uh, if you have a slow computer, there's only so much that you can do. So do understand that if you're still experiencing some slow speeds, you may just need to upgrade some hardware. You may have to spend some money. If you guys have any specific questions about what you've got going on, um, I'd be happy to answer them if you leave them in the comments and try and help you guys individually with exactly what problems you guys may have. Because I know I've helped a ton of my students work out a few different things here and there to kind of make their Lightroom a little less clunky and run a little bit faster. We want that Lightroom to be a well-oiled machine. So so I can try and help you guys as much as I can. I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if it was. I really enjoy creating these videos for you guys and I need your support if you want me to keep creating them. Thank you guys so much for checking out this week's video and we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.